Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So Bunky has a day off today. We are so excited. We're gonna hang out, go run some errands. Bunky needs a haircut really bad. We are going to Sam's Club, and right now I'm making Bunky take me to the cutest little bakery. I've never been, but I've seen pictures, and it looks adorable. So I wanna go there and get coffee and cupcakes and take lots of Instagram pictures. So that's where we're headed now, and we're just gonna bring you guys along with us for the day. Okay, update. The bakery was closed. <laughs> I'm so sad. They're closed on Monday, so I have to just try and go back another day. But I saw inside and it looks adorable. And I don't have to go. <laughs> Okay, so we're just now leaving Viva Chicken. It was so good as always. I told you guys I have been loving that place. I go every single week. And now we're gonna go try and get Bunky's haircut. Um, I think we're gonna run into Target though first, then get B's haircut. While he's getting his haircut, I may run into TJ Maxx. And then we're gonna hit up Sam's Club. And then when we get home, we'll show you guys what we bought there. And we'll just keep this vlog rolling. I think we're actually going to the farm tonight to have dinner with my parents. So we'll bring you guys along for that as well. Yeah. I think that's all we got. I'm, I'm really disappointed about the bakery though, y'all. Like, Bunky and I both wanted a cupcake really bad. Oh. It's okay, next. He told me he wanted a new wardrobe. Oh, are you over here looking for some new clothes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap, there's Dwight. Monkey, hmm? you said you wanted like grown up clothes. <laughs> I know. And you're over here looking. Well, I saw this Garfield shirt and it. That is cute. What else did you find? <laughs> oh, well, I'll show you in a second. Oh snap, look, there's another Biggie shirt. Oh yes. By the way, I find like cute graphic tees in the men men's section and then I wear them with like leggings and a blue jean jacket. So cute. It's cute. Wouldn't y'all love to see Mr. B in this? <laughs> I did find that these are actually like pretty decent pants. Okay. Like, well, let's get like, you a pair. Like for real though. They don't have my size. <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> <laughs> they do over here. Actually, no. See, these are two. I don't know. How much are these? Yeah, see, these are only $3 more, but they're like nicer. Battery fell to die. No way. Yeah. Okay, so Bunky just walked in to get his hair cut. I'm going to run into TJ Maxx while I'm waiting on him. My battery is about to die, so I'm going to try and save what little bit I have left. We're probably going to go to Sam's Club, and then when I get home, I'll charge it, show you guys my haul, and then we'll keep it going. But I'm probably going to have to cut it short for right now. Let's see it, B. Cute. <laughs> Okay, friends, so my most asked question of all time is where I got my blue mixing bowls that you guys always see whenever we're cooking, and we got them at Sam's Club, but I think that they are seasonal, and y'all, they have them. I was so excited to see them, so run to Sam's Club, get them for yourself. They are not exactly the same because there are two solid blue bowls in like the new set, whereas ours don't have the solid blue, but other than that, they are the exact same. Now, we got them at the end of the summer and they were much cheaper I think $12 instead of 20 but still that is a good price and that's where we got them
These sweaters were on sale for less than $13 and I thought that they were so cute, super cozy and soft and so of course I had to get the one that was in blush pink. So I did pick that up but I thought those were adorable. They actually had a lot of really good sale prices on different sweaters. Okay, so we just got home from Sam's Club. My battery was like going dead the whole day, so we didn't get as much footage as we wanted to, but I'll probably just keep this vlog rolling for you guys. Um, I did want to show you, I got the sweater. I think I had enough battery to where I showed you guys a few of these in store, but they were $12. They're so soft and cozy. Mr. B says that this looks like um, it should be worn by someone a little bit older than me. <laughs> Mm. But I think it's so cute. I'm gonna try it on for y'all. Okay, so obviously I would wear this not with this shirt, like more with like a sweater or turtle neck or something like that. But look at how like soft and cozy and warm it is. And I did get it in extra large so I could like wear it with like bigger things um, and it would still fit really cozy. But I love it no matter what Bunky says. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you the rest of the stuff that we got at Sam's Club. Okay, so we didn't get too many other things at Sam's Club, but what we did get is this big package of chicken breasts. We thought this will be great. We can freeze some of it and we'll probably use a lot of this for what's for dinners this week and stuff like that and then they had a great prices on the cage free like organic eggs um i think this was like three dollars it's 350 350 which is not bad for 18 pack because these can be really expensive um and then i'm really excited about this so it's just like a little farmhouse utensil set and i love the little picture that it's in and i love the color of these so i thought that would be really pretty in our kitchen the ones we have are like orange and blue and it kind of like stands out like a sore thumb so i'm happy to have ones that like are all color coordinated um and this was actually bunky's idea it was. Uh, I wanted some silicone cookware so that we... Don't scrape the... Uh, yeah, just stuff like that. Yeah, you guys always come at us about the forks. <laughs> so anyways, that, I'm really excited about that. And then we got all of this toothpaste and... You gonna say something? Mm -hmm. Okay. And some pomegranate juice. I love palm juice. Um, some lemons and some limes. Okay, and then I was really excited about this because we found it on sale, but you get two big bottles of um, lotion and then like a small little travel size. And I love a Vino body wash lotion, everything. I think this whole set was like 11 bucks. Right? Something like that, yeah. It was really inexpensive for like I these two big bottles. I don't even know if it was that much. I think it was like nine. It was nine. That's sure. great because these bottles in Target are super expensive. And then we just got a um, bag of our favorite little tortilla chips. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to have Oh, I've got those drinks, but they're outside. Oh, uh, what do you call them? Body armor. Yes, Mr. B's body armor they're drinks. Good. I love it. Okay, now we're heading to the farm? Yep. All right. So we actually filmed a lot driving to the farm, but it was so loud on the interstate, you really couldn't hear me. And then at my parents' house, they had music playing in the background the whole time, and I totally didn't realize it, so I couldn't use that footage either. So here's a little look at what we had for dinner, and then I'm just going to keep this vlog rolling. Hello friends, so I am back in the car. I feel like this is like my car chronicles. Um, when Bucky and I filmed all the footage you've already seen um, that day, so much of it was like in the worst lighting so i apologize for that and then um whenever we were going to the farm we were like talking to you guys the whole way driving on the interstate and it was so loud you barely couldn't hear me so i couldn't like use any of that footage and then we got to my parents house and i was showing you guys all of the renovations and all of the that, 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 that they have done which looks incredible um but they were playing country music in the background and I didn't realize it and it's like really loud. So if I put that footage in my video, then it would be demonetized. So I couldn't use that footage either. So unfortunately there wasn't very much footage footage y'all why can i not talk sometimes there wasn't much footage from that day so i thought i'd just pick the camera back up and keep it going. I actually am about to run out. I'm so excited because I'm getting a P.O. box today. So many of you have asked me if I have one because you want to send us a package, which is the sweetest thing ever. Like, you guys blow me away. And um, I don't have one. So I thought I would just go get one so you guys can, like, send us cards. And that way, we can, like, send you guys stuff, too. So, um, anyways, I'm going to do that. I'm meeting my mom. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I need to just, like, turn this off and redo it. I am meeting my mom at Ulta. I think when I get excited, I want to, like, get it all out, and then it just, like, all runs together, and then I can't even talk. Anyways, I'm meeting my mom at Ulta, 
So I'm excited about that. I have to run to Sam's Club because the picture that we got that has like all the different little silicone um, like utensils and stuff in it, it was completely shattered whenever I opened it. So I need to return that and get a new one. And I feel like there was something else I was going to do. I may run to Walmart. I'm not sure probably target i mean when i'm out i just try and go to all my places so anyways i'm just gonna keep this thing going and bring y'all along with me and i know i talk a lot with my hands so you can probably tell um i only have one hand painted so i took off my fingernails and i was like you know what i'm gonna let my nails breathe for a little while without getting them redone and then i was like well i'm just gonna try and paint them myself bucky and i are really trying to stay on a budget this year so that we can get our rv so i was like okay to save money i'll just paint them myself well y'all know once you paint one hand then you have to like use the other one to get stuff because this one has to dry and then takes forever to dry so i just paint one hand at a time so i painted this hand last night i'll paint this hand tonight so if you're like what the heck that's what it is but i'm gonna stop ran oh my goodness i'm gonna stop rambling because obviously i can't even talk and let's just go shopping and get a p.o box today i'm so excited we are back in business i got a new one and i made sure before i left that it was not broken the other one whenever we opened it it was like in 15 different pieces and i was like oh i guess this isn't gonna work so anyways i got a new one and now i'm gonna go meet my mom at ulta they have like a 20 percent off coupon and i have a gift card so i'm super excited i don't know what i'm gonna get yet but i'll let you guys know California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name oh, My body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I wanna run up through his hair But I'm trying not to stare mm -mm. I get a little saucer when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried So in the first part of this vlog, whenever Bunky was getting his hair cut, I actually ran into TJ Maxx that day and they did not have any of this. They must have like just put everything out, but they had so many Raydon pieces that were so cute. And I wanted to show you all this tiered tray. So many of you have asked about mine and I actually got mine from TJ Maxx and this is not the exact one, but I actually like this one better. It's a lot bigger and it was only $15, which was such a good price for a tiered tray. I may even go back and get it, but they had so many cute things. It was unbelievable. I could have spent so much money in there, but I was trying to be really good. Okay, so I just left Ulta and TJ Maxx with my mom. Whenever I get home, I'll show you guys what I got. TJ Maxx had so much Radon. I was like so excited. I don't collect Radon like crazily, if that's the right word. Um, but I do love getting like different um, mugs that have like sayings that I would love on there. And I want to get more of her stuff. I just kind of have like all these different ideas of how I want to decorate my house. And I need to just decide on what I want. But it was so cool seeing all the stuff. There was so much like Easter things out and spring things. And oh my gosh, it just gets me so excited because it's freezing today. Obviously, I'm in this huge coat. But now I am headed to go get a P.O. box and I cannot wait. So, of course, I will put my new P.O. box um, address in the description box so you guys will have it. And it'll be in all of the other videos um, that I post as well. But I'm just so excited for it. So, that's where I'm headed now and then I'll check in with you guys. Well, I was going to stop at Starbucks. Actually, I'm just going to do it. Who cares? I was going to say the line was long, but honestly, I mean, okay, it's kind of bad. But I got nothing but time. Hi, thanks for choosing Starbucks. This is going to start feed today. Hey, can I please have a grande iced coffee with no classic and then three pumps of vanilla and light cream? What else? And can I also have a grande iced water? Anything else? That's it. 337. Thank you. Okay, I'm so sad, y'all. I just went to the post office, and it's like 3.15 right now. They closed at 2.30, so ugh, I can't get one. And then I actually just um, looked up the next 
like town over to see what time they closed and they close at five every day so i was like perfect except for on wednesdays which is today and they close at 12 30 so anyways it looks like i'm not getting a p.o box today i'll just go tomorrow and get one um but i'll let you guys know whenever i do so now i'm gonna head home i'll show you guys what i got at ulta and tj maxx and i'm kind of in the mood to make some pimento cheese so i might do that too um to have like as a snack for the rest of the week so anyways i'm gonna head home and then i'll show you guys what i got okay i just got home and i actually had an amazon package in my mailbox too so i'll show you that and then you guys saw that i picked up another one of these and since we're getting all of these new spatulas i don't want to throw away the ones that i already have because they're still really good quality and actually like all the orange ones we just got by the way bucky ordered the orange ones i would have never chosen that color but I didn't say anything for him because he liked them. But anyway, I'm glad that we have these that are all the same color and they will look much prettier out on our countertops. But I'm gonna take all of the ones that we already previously had and then I got this at TJ Maxx and it's just like super wide and long and I can put it in a drawer and then put all of our old ones in here. That way I can still use them. Um, so anyways, I picked this up from TJ Maxx. It was $4.99, I guess I'll just start with TJ Maxx. And then like I said, they had so much redone stuff. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I talked about this. Um, maybe I talked about it somewhere in a video here too, but I am gonna get this coffee mug rack from Target. It's so pretty, it's like wood. And I don't want all of the coffee mugs on there to be redone, but I want like the majority of them to be that just because then they'll all look very cohesive. And um, then I wanna sprinkle in like some colorful ones too, just kinda give it that pop, cause you guys know I need a little color in my life. So anyways, I did get two more redone mugs while I was there today. And I think yeah, I definitely filmed it. So you guys saw they had the sign that said Happy Easter. I want to go back and get that. It was $25, but y'all, how cute is that? Especially for like our entryway in the foyer. I thought it was so pretty. So anyways, I did get two mugs. I picked up this one that says Fuel. And then I also got this one that says that says <laughs> cheers y'all i love this one if you know me i'm always cheersing and i always say y'all and i love to cheers to some coffee so um i was so excited to get both of these my mom got the one that said honeybee that had the yellow on the inside she actually i don't, I don't know if i should say because she got it as a present i'm not gonna say who she got it for just in case they watch this video but um that one was so cute and i almost got that one and then i just like second guessed it last minute but that was precious um so anyways I think that's all that I got from TJ Maxx. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to Ulta. And let me tell you all the funniest thing. So when I was in there, um, I was looking for some more of the ordinary products and they actually sell it at our Ulta now, which I'm so excited about. But they were of course sold out of the one thing that I wanted. And there were these two ladies standing there. And whenever I walked up, they were like, have you ever used this before? And I was like, ooh you just asked the right person so i was so excited i like got to talk to them all about skincare and they're like wow how do you know all this stuff and i like told them how i used to work for sephora and i got all this training and i flew to vegas and got to like learn about all of the like brand founders like the ceos of these companies and they were just like so blown away and it was so much fun and i got to like tell them like which ones will be good for their skin type and um it was just so much fun and i haven't done that in such a long time like ever since i worked even when i worked for Too faced i did it a little bit but especially since i've not worked for sephora in so long so i was like oh i still got it in me i was so proud but anyways it was so fun anywho so like i said they did not have the ordinary toner which is what i was looking for because i'm almost out of mine but i did get a new makeup eraser and y'all i forget how much i love this thing if you have never tried it I promise you, you will be so happy you did. Um, so basically the makeup eraser, you just wet it with warm water and you can wipe the makeup off your face. It even takes off mascara, okay? With no cleanser, nothing. And it's $20, which I know seems kind of expensive for like a little cloth. But think about if you never have to buy makeup wipes ever again, then you're saving a lot of money. So. I usually still do a cleanser. I do like an oil cleanser. So with an oil cleanser, get me getting into skincare. Um, you use dry hands, dry face, and it breaks down everything. And then I just wet my cloth, wipe my face down, and it literally takes all of your makeup off. And I'll use it a few times before I wash it. And then I just throw it in with my load of towels once a week. It's clean. You can use it again. It's the best thing ever. So like, 
If you didn't buy makeup wipes five times, it would pay for itself. So anyways, this is the best thing ever and I'm so excited. I haven't had one in almost a year because I used mine for like three years in a row and it was disgusting, like it was gross. So I threw it away and then I just have been buying makeup wipes and finally I was like, why do I not have this thing? So I got a new one. And then I love the Kapari brand. If you guys have never tried it, their um, coconut oil is so good. Okay, first of all, it smells amazing. Like you think of the most coconutty tropical paradise you've ever imagined in your life and times that by 10, that's how good it smells. So um, I used to love their coconut oil and now they have like a cleanser, deodorant, all kinds of stuff and their brand is just so good. It's very good, like organic ingredients. And I have been wanting to try their little lip balm for forever. So I finally was like, okay, I'm buying this thing because I had a 20% off coupon and a gift card. So anyways, it's just like a little tube of it's not chapstick, it's literally coconut oil that you use for your lips. I'm gonna try it. It has the same smell. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, y'all. It is the smoothest, most hydrating, smell good lip balm ever. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, okay, this was totally a win. I'm so glad I picked it up. So it's the Kapari and it's just called Lip Glossy. If you guys wanna try it, it's amazing. Okay, so that's all that I got at Ulta. And then, let me see my, my dress is on here. <laughs> um, my Amazon package came today too, so let's see. Oh, I ordered two things, so I wasn't sure which one this was, by the way. Let me take my bracelet off because y'all always say that it annoys you. Okay. Let me open this up. So, you guys know I always wear my little pink headband that has the pearls on it. And actually, when I bought that headband, they were way more expensive. I want to say they were like $12 to $13. And now they're only like either six, I think they're six dollars now, which is a steal for this headband. Because if you go to like Target or anywhere else and try and buy a like knotted headband, they're usually 10 to $15 and you can find even ones that are like 20 to $50, which is crazy. And this is the best quality and they come in like so many colors. So anyways, you guys know I have been obsessed with this like green color, especially at Christmas time. And I just still love it so much. So when I saw they had it in this color, I was like, oh, I gotta get it. So got me a new headband. Let's see if I can put it on. Yay, so cute. I'm so excited about that. Um, and what else did I wanna tell you or show you? I think that's it. TJ Maxx, Sam's Club, Amazon, Ulta. I think that's it. Okay, so I think I do wanna make some pimento cheese. So I'm gonna make it with you guys on camera and then I'll end this video. I've made it one other time, but y'all, I love me some pimento cheese, especially with some Ritz crackers. Oh my gosh. It's my favorite little snack to have. So anyways, I'm gonna make that. Y'all probably think I'm like crazy, but I just get like so excited whenever I get all the new little things. And I'm just like so happy with all my little purchases. So anyway, I probably need to calm down like 10 octaves. Plus I just had that Starbucks coffee. Um, so anyways, let's make some pimento cheese. To make my pimento cheese, this is literally the only thing that you need. So I have some sharp cheddar cheese here, some Colby Jack, some pimentos, lots of black pepper, a little bit of mayo, and then the green Tabasco. You have to do the green Tabasco because it gives it tons of flavor, but it doesn't make it like too spicy. Um, and I'm gonna shred up this entire block or the half a block that it is, and then half a block of the Colby Jack. And that's like enough for just me because Bunky won't really be here to eat it. But y'all, you can eat pimento cheese on anything. Like we put it on burgers, put it on celery. You could literally just put it between two pieces of bread, toast it in the pan with some bacon, have like a grilled pimento cheese. I mean, all kinds of stuff. It's just so good. Um, so anywho, I'm gonna get to shredded my cheese and then I'll assemble it.
Okay, so now that I have all of my cheese grated, I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding in my condiments. Now, I will say you have to shred the cheese. <laughs> just like Uncle Mark says, you have to do the labor and shred the cheese because if you use like pre-shredded bag cheese, it doesn't come out the same, it doesn't have the same texture. So, definitely do the work. Okay, okay, so I try and start with like, obviously it's a heaping tablespoon of mayo, but I don't wanna add too much because I don't want it to be too mayo-y. So I kind of start there and then I'll see if I need to add a little bit more in a second once I start stirring it. And then you can kind of put in as much Tabasco as you want. I want all the flavor, so I kind of put in a lot. Plus the um, liquid from the Tabasco will also help to kind of marinate Mary marry everything together and then I do lots of pepper and then of course you cannot have pimento cheese without pimentos so I add in some pimentos I don't like pimentos that much but I love the flavor of them so I get some of the juice and add that in And stir it together, see if it's the right consistency, and that is it. It's so simple. It definitely needs a little bit more mayo, so I'm putting in about another tablespoon. That's it, so simple. I'm gonna taste it. Okay, I got my Ritz cracker. I smothered it with my pimento cheese. Y'all, it is bomb. That was literally the easiest, best lemon cheese ever. I know some people put garlic powder in there. It's not garlic powder, onion powder. So if you wanted to do that, you could. Obviously, I'm not going to, but that is delicioso. All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun hanging out with Bunky and I and going on my little mini shopping excursion today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you are new. I love you so very much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.